brothers it's very cold i'm wearing two hoodies at the same time and there is more okay so it's very cold so you'll have to deal with this new look for one more month i think <laughs> until the cold lasts yeah heater is turned on but still it's very cold to record video inside a room with single t-shirt okay so now let's get into the video microsoft is replacing windows search with ai and i'm not gonna lie i've already tested this it's actually pretty good i don't know how but it's actually better than windows search windows search doesn't have good reputation it's slow and when it's fetching the files it can make your entire system lag and to be honest i don't use the windows search i use something called command palette it's also from the microsoft but it's good you can do many things that you cannot do in windows start menu or the search this new feature it has a name actually it is called ask copilot on the taskbar and yes it's related to the copilot but not the regular copilot it's actually related to the microsoft 365 copilot the normal copilot is targeted for regular consumers and the 365 copilot is for enterprise but they are almost the same <laughs> okay and for some reason both the regular copilot and the 365 copilot are installed both not one just both if you install the windows 11 25 h2 now this feature ask copilot on the taskbar is available to the windows insiders in beta and dev channel and it's also gradually rolling out that means even if you get the latest beta and dev channel you might not see this but you can use something called vive tool to enable this feature and test this out so let's check this out actually so i have set up the vm of windows 11 dev channel and here you can see i have the microsoft 365 it says office is it office oh it's no <laughs> what it's a uh, microsoft 365 copilot not the office but when you hover your mouse it says microsoft 365 office i think the 365 copilot is related to the office okay it's one of the office uh, apps now if i go into taskbar settings here i'll see a new option ask copilot so i can just turn it on and it will automatically hide the search box Okay, and we'll replace it with the Ask Copilot. And when I turn it off, it will automatically uh, change the search setting and it will set it to search box. Okay, so what this does is basically replaces the Windows search with the Ask Copilot when you turn it on. Okay, it hides the search. Okay, now instead of the regular search, you'll see the Ask Copilot search. You can click on it. It's a small box and here you can start typing and searching. Let's say I want to search for edge. I'm going to type edge and for some reason you can see it's super fast. <laughs> it feels super fast. Look at that. I start typing and it starts pulling out the uh, results. It's super fast. I don't know how. <laughs> Somehow it's faster than the uh, regular Windows search. Now, when you open the start menu, you know start menu also has the search that thing is still there so if you go and open the start menu and click on the search to start searching yeah it's still here but basically now you have two types of search at the same time one is ai powered and one is the regular and both of these do the same thing okay but ai one is more powerful because you can ask questions and all that you know the ai you can talk to it since this is a 365 copilot i think we also need a subscription right now i'm using it without subscription if i want to talk to it it is asking me to buy the microsoft 365 uh, basically it's asking for the subscription i can't even chat <laughs> but it can do the local searches okay that's a good thing and again as i said for some reason it's good and i can also ask anything that i want so let's say i'm gonna ask what is mount everest I don't think it's going to work because again we need a subscription so basically the ai features like to uh, chat or to ask anything basically you can't chat if you don't have a subscription but for some reason the offline thingy is working i don't know how 
and it's super fast okay there is the edge control panel it's so fast so i don't know what method they are using to index the files and apps in microsoft ask copilot thingy okay maybe they're using the same method as the regular uh, you know windows search let's try to find the files can be do i have any files in here yeah i have gimp so let's see if it can find gimp yeah it does and look at that it's fast <laughs> i have actually gimp installed so what's happening is microsoft is putting more and more ai into their system okay and eventually in future ai will take over almost everything like this is the beginning of replacing the regular windows search with ask copilot search okay this will happen not right now it's in testing but in future it will happen and they say streamlined search experience so basically they are combining the regular searches with ai and they are also introducing the agents on taskbar agent launchers on windows wow okay and yeah that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it if you have any question or if you have something to say about the ai in windows 11 yeah feel free to drop your comments that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye, -bye.